Gamers, OzGamer82 or Andrew back at you with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at my entire platform game collection. Platforming games are one of my favourite gaming genres of all time. Essentially this is the genre that really got me into gaming. So I do own quite a lot. So yeah, just thought this would be a fun video to make. Before I get into it though, I'm wanting to give a quick thank you to everyone that's been supporting me and this new channel so far. I've met some awesome people. A special thank you goes out to um, Gundam Russ though. He gave me a shout out in his previous video, so thanks a lot for that mate. Really, really appreciate that. And I'll be leaving his channel link in the description box below. I'm sure most of you are already subscribed to him. I don't have that many subscribers yet, but I'm definitely wanting to uh, return the favour. So thanks a lot Gundam Russ. Alright, uh, let's get into it. Now I'm not really going to have a lot of time to talk about each of these games. Um, a lot of them are pretty common self-explanatory titles anyway. So uh, let's get into it. Now I've broken these down into uh, systems. And first up we have cartridge only of Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, one of the greatest platform games ever made. Love it. I don't own a NES console but um, I picked up this cart for a couple of bucks ages ago and it was worth it. I do own the game on various other versions though. Alright, moving on to PlayStation 1. We have Mickey's Wild Adventure. Great game, if a little challenging in parts. Um, awesome, awesome looking graphics as well. So definitely check this out if you haven't. Heart of Darkness, fairly underrated game, and like Mickey's Wild Adventure, the visuals in this are fantastic. There's some awesome looking claymation cutscenes, and it's just a really, really fun game, so Heart of Darkness. Uh, next up, we have my favourite platform franchise for the PS1, and that is the Crash Bandicoot games. I don't own part 2, I have played it though, and I need to track down a copy sometime. Uh, we have the original, which is awesome, but Crash Bandicoot Warped is my favourite out of the three. Absolutely love this game, it is fantastic. It's a real shame the uh, Crash Bandicoot games went downhill when uh, Naughty Dog stopped doing them. Anyway, moving on, we have Spyro Year of the Dragon. Never really been a big Spyro fan, but um, I own this game. Alright, moving on to the Mega Drive. Uh, the console that pretty much started me with gaming, and of course got me into the platforming genre. Awesome console, home to some awesome platform games. Uh, first up, we have... Wonder Boy 3 Monster Land. I was debating including this because this also has adventure and RPG elements combined but essentially this is a platform game so wanted to include that and it's an awesome game. It's the only Wonder Boy game that I've played actually. I know there's a fair few others. Anyway moving on we have Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Um, Sega's first attempt at a um, mascot rivaling Mario with Alex Kidd didn't quite work out. Still though, this is a great game. I like it a lot. Uh, next we have Quackshot starring Donald Duck. Very, very hard game. Ghouls and Ghosts, but I do like it. Pretty underrated game is Kid Chameleon. Uh, this is a really unique platformer and it's an awesome platform game. Basically your character dresses up in different costumes throughout the game to um, help them get through different parts of the game, different levels. Um, so it's really unique in that aspect and yeah, awesome, awesome game. And of course, could not forget about these two games, Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, these two games got me into gaming and platformers. Both are exceptional games, terrific, I'm sure everyone has played them before, but yeah, um, love them. 
And I have some card only games, um, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I like it, not as good as the first two though. Chico Chico Boys. Rice Star. Galley Head. I think that's how you pronounce it. And Bubsy. Alright, moving on to the DS. Uh, first up, we have Sonic Rush Adventure. I haven't played too much of this, and my main complaint with the game, like a lot of other people's, is the game does play itself a little bit too much. But still, when you compare this to the majority of other modern recent Sonic games, um, this really is one of the best out there. And I do need to pick up the original at some point. A uh, very underrated game is Aliens Infestation. Uh, this one came out pretty late in the DS's life and um, it didn't have the best advertising so kind of went under the radar. Uh, best way to explain this game is it's essentially the closest thing you're going to get to Super Metroid on the DS. Um, plays very very similar um, basically it's pretty much carbon copy of that just set in the Alien universe instead. Awesome game though, definitely one to check out. Uh, moving on to the 3DS, we have Epic Mickey Power of Illusion. Um, if you're a fan of the Castle of Illusion game on the Mega Drive, um, I definitely recommend this one. It's a slow going platformer, it's not a fast paced platformer at all. And the paintbrush elements are a little bit too gimmicky, but I still think this is a fantastic game. And visually it looks amazing. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, a game that I really haven't given a lot of time to. Um, I do find it very challenging, e even on the easy mode. Um, this is a game series that I've never really been into before. Uh, this is the first Donkey Kong game that I've ever played, actually. And um, I'm certainly not as big of a fan as a lot of you guys are, but I still think it's really good, and uh, hopefully I can get into it a bit more. And the last game for the 3DS, uh, last certainly not least. Fortunately, I unfortunately I don't have a physical copy of it because it came bundled with my 3DS XL, and that is Super Mario 3D Land. Um, I would probably go as far to say as this is my favourite modern platform game of all time. Amazing, amazing game, and I would say that it is worth picking up a 3DS for this game alone. Um, absolutely love it. They did an incredible job with everything in that game. Alright, moving on to PlayStation 3. First up, we have the Ratchet & Clank Trilogy. This is the HD Remake Collection. And I really haven't played uh, too much of this on the PS3. I did play through these games on the PS2, and I love them. Especially Ratchet & Clank 3. Uh, not an official game, but wanted to include it and that is the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. This has 40 Sega games and of course it has a bunch of awesome platform games in it. Um, if you're a Sega fan or a retro gaming fan, this is definitely one to check out. Little Big Planet 2, um, awesome game and I do prefer this one slightly over the original. I used to own the original, in fact it came bundled with my PlayStation 3. And it was essentially the game that really enticed me to pick up a PS3 um, when that first came out. But yeah, Part 2 is amazing. And Medium Monocule did an incredible job with the uh, community aspect of these games. Uh, next we have Rayman Origins, which surprisingly I haven't really played a lot of... Uh, I really haven't put too much time into it. But from what I have played of it though, it is awesome. Uh, then we have Sonic Generations. Um, all I'm going to say is thank you Sega, you finally made a amazing modern Sonic game. So thank you so much. Uh, the one and only PS2 game is Iron Ninja. Very very underrated and a very unique platform game. Um, definitely one to check out. 
has some really, really different gameplay elements throughout. Alright, moving on to the Wii. Uh, we have Super Mario All-Stars 25th Anniversary set. A uh, fantastic set. It has the original game, Lost Levels, SMB2 and SMB3. Uh, really, really good um, disc release for the games. I was kind of debating including this one, but I do consider it a uh, platform style game, and that's Metroid Other M. I haven't completed this game, but I like it. I certainly like it a lot more than the flack that it gets. Um, I don't get all the hate towards this game. Yes, it is very, very different, but I still think it's a pretty solid Metroid game. Um, what I consider to be the greatest three platformer ever made is Super Mario Galaxy. This game is absolutely incredible. It is 3D platforming perfection. So thank you Nintendo. And I really need to get around to uh, picking up the sequel. Uh, next we have Klonoa. This is a really underrated Wii game and I think it is rather hard to come by. Um, it never really had a massive print run. But this is essentially a remake of the PlayStation 1 game. So if you've never played it before, I definitely recommend it. Very, very fun platform game, very colourful. And last, we have Sonic Colours. Um, I really need to get back and finish this game because I think the hype really got to me. I don't think this game is as good as the hype. I don't think it's terrible, um, especially compared to pretty much every other Sonic game that is on the Wii, uh, this is the best one. But yeah, I uh, just never got around to finishing it for some reason, but I will get back to it. Alright, now I also own some um, downloadable platform games, uh, Mega Man 2, then I own um, Euphoria, which is a pretty underrated and really awesome platformer for the NES, I own that on the Wii, and I also own on the PlayStation 3 Alex Kidd in Miracle World, which was an amazing platform game for the Master System 2. It was one of the built-in games for the system. It's my favorite Alex Kidd game and one of my favorite platformers of all time. So yeah, that is it. Um, there's still a bunch more that I would like to get. Um, I'd like to get my hands on some of the Kirby ones for the Wii, especially um, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I've also heard pretty good things about um, Wario Land for the Wii, so I'd like to get that. Um, what else is there? Um, trying to think. Oh yeah, the Jack and Daxter um, HD trilogy for the PlayStation 3 as well. But anyway, if you guys have any recommendations of platformer games that you reckon I should check out, please let me know. Um, you guys know the systems that I own, so any recommendations for any systems um, would be fantastic. Um, I'm really after some recommendations for some sort of hidden gem platform games for the Mega Drive, um, so that would be awesome. But yeah, recommend away, um, I would love that. And let me know some of your platform games, um, sorry, some of your favorite platformer games of all time either via a video response or in the comments section below. Anyway guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.